Hello and welcome to a requested video regarding the Parkside impact driver to impact wrench conversion. So I've already shown you how you can convert it into a half inch impact wrench. However, there have been a couple of requests regarding a 3 8 anvil conversion. So I want to look into that. Now this is a DeWalt anvil. I will give you all the information about it in the description of the video. Um, the one thing um, that I couldn't manage to find was an anvil that would fit straight on, which is essentially a plug and play conversion. This is the closest one I could find. However, the bottom hole here is the correct diameter. However, it's not the correct depth. So you would need to find someone with a metal lathe because the hole depth originally on this anvil is about seven millimeters and you needed to go to about 12 in order to fit well on the impact mechanism on the Parkside impact driver. The diameter is 16 millimeters. So a bushing from my other video would fit correctly on it. Um, the bushing I already have installed on this. If you want more information on the conversion or a tutorial, again, I will link all of that down in the video description. So let's test this one now with a fully charged battery, and then we will test it with the 3 8 inch anvil on another fully charged battery. I have two Makita impact sockets, 70 millimeter half inch and 70 millimeter 3 8 inch. So let's see if there is any difference. Oh, and by the way, this is the original anvil that I pulled out from the impact driver. And this is the 3 8 inch. There is a bit of a difference, about a millimeter on each side. However, this is the closest you can get. There is a substantial reduction in size, as you can see. 16 millimeter inside diameter, 22 millimeter outside diameter, and 10 millimeter height pushing. It's the exact same one that I use with the half inch handle. Okay, so as you can see, it's a lot shorter now, and it can take a 3 8 socket. Speed four, full battery. So bottom line on this conversion is that it doesn't feel as strong as the half inch handle. However, it is shorter and it is more convenient if you do have a collection of 3 8 inch impact sockets. However, I would say the max untightening force is around 200 Newton meters. I do like the look of it though. Half inch handle and same Makita socket, albeit in a half inch form. 210 newton meters, which the 3 8 anvil couldn't undo. Full battery and mode 4. So, this is the 3 8 anvil that I used in the video. I'll leave all the info that you need, as well as a link to where I bought it from, down in the description.
Now, if anyone has an idea of a 3 8 inch anvil that is as close to the original anvil as possible, I think we can get more power out of this tool. However, as you can see, the 3 8 anvil is on the right and the original one is on the left. Just because the 3 8 is smaller, I think that's the reason why it can't undo more than 200 new meters. This is about a four centimeter length. And the 3 8 is about half a centimeter shorter. So about two millimeters down on each side. If you are working on bikes or something like that, this is still not a bad choice. But as I said, you need to get a hold of someone to deepen this hole down here. The diameter of it is the one that you need, eight millimeters. However, the depth, um, you'll need to work on that a bit. The bushing needed is 16 millimeter inside diameter, 22 millimeter outside diameter, and 10 millimeter height. The total length of the tool with the 3 8 inch drive anvil is around 13.6, 13.7 centimeters. And the length of the tool with the half inch anvil and socket is 14.8 centimeters.